So, I don't know if you knew this, but wrestling is insane. I want to have sex with your wife. Which makes it a popular avenue for licensed video games. Which, those are all fine and they're still going strong. Oh, what's this? A commercialized annual cash grab that drip feeds basic features every year instead of pushing the industry forward? <laughs> Besides the dystopian nightmare that is 2K sports games, there's actually a really great wrestling game that doesn't get enough love. Wrestling Empire. So check it out. This is Samson. He's my guy for this run of the game. See, there's this blatant fact about wrestling. It's not real. However, Wrestling Empire decides to ignore that fact. This is a fictional universe where almost every character is a fictional parody of a real one. And nothing is scripted like in real life. Check out Coder. Make him say, oh! We start our first match against Sea Breeze. It's easy, but it's here where the most frustrating mechanic of the game comes in. So most wrestling games have reversals tied to a button press. Wrestling Empire judges reversals based on a percentage chance according to your skill percentage. Which means reversals are influenced by chance. If this scares you away from the game, you are valid. A big appeal, however, is free roam. You can walk around the map and interact with other wrestlers. See, this guy Crash Cougar was being mean to me, so days later, before our scheduled match, I beat him with a hammer. Things go well for a while. I get my own mouthpiece in the form of Rupert Royal. He's cool. I get a big lesson in humility, picking a fight with the tag champs backstage. I kind of start to go on a monster run beating champions but not managing to get a title shot. Then I'm approached by Rising Sun Puroresu. That's a style of wrestling in Japan. Well, I try to haggle and they shove me aside. I keep on at the old wrestling school and they finally take me for a lengthy contract. I win a pretty tough debut match and find out that my boss wants me to go bald. Since I have no creative control clause in my contract, he decides Samson would look better as a balding man. I face this Willie Pierce guy a lot. Losing to him once, but in general, not an awful run. I go to the subway and I don't like the way this Emil Tequila guy is looking at me, so I do the next logical thing. Well, he's only out for a week, so good for him. Eventually I get a match for Yuri Yakuza's International Championship. It's showtime. For a marquee match, it definitely was lackluster. I do get my title though. Mother is very proud. I was the first American ever- Then my boss has me take a pay cut. The champion takes a pay cut. Dick Swagger says he wants to unionize. Workers' rights is comforting, but it's not enough. I vent my frustrations by throwing my old coach into the subway. Don't worry, he's just a little hurt. The boss man asks if I know about any union popping up, but I'm not a rat, so that stays in the dark. I visit my old coach in the hospital to see how he's doing. Well, I don't know why, but I can't help but feel a little responsible. Before the show, Akari Sachiko tries to beat me up backstage. It goes poorly for her. I unintentionally do some really dark stuff at this ceremonial charity show. So, after this normal tag match with some rancid, queasy feeling in my stomach, I face Akari again in a barbed wire match. It goes... well. A steady string of victories, safe to say, I'm kind of a workhorse champion. After that, I let out some anger on my arch nemesis once again. This poor lady cannot catch a break. Before I know it, I get a shot at Snake Suzuki's Super Junior Championship. The title of the belt makes it feel more like a lesser title, but I take it nonetheless. Gold is gold. And then I eventually defend my title against six people. It's an absolute clusterfuck of bodies and suplexes, but somehow I barely manage to stay on top. The rest is pretty bog standard. I defend the title, commit a lot of attempted murder, until near the end of the year after sustaining facial damage, I decide to take over the company and put on the match of the lifetime. In conclusion, this game is grim, silly, and just pretty fun. See ya.